The construction of the Aswan Dam threatened to submerge them under the waters of the Nile. If the two temples of Abu Simbel were destroyed, it would have been a huge loss for the shared history of humankind. After exploring numerous outlandish options, contemporary engineers made the daring choice to slice and transport the two temples, block by block and stone by stone, in a mere two years, a remarkable feat. People at the time would have said, but you can't. This is impossible. The architects went as far as designing a gigantic man-made hill that sits on a one-of-a-kind concrete superstructure. Actually, this place is not open for the public, so we need to, uh, to get a permission. Rescued from annihilation through cutting-edge technologies, the temples of Abu Simbel continued to attest to the grandeur of an empire at its zenith and the might of a pharaoh unrivaled in history.